tomorrow is National Stop the Bleed Day. Ken's Five reporter Jeremy Baker shows us how you can save lives in tonight's Wear the Gown. If somebody has an injury that causes severe bleeding, that person can bleed to death in less than five minutes. That is why knowing this life-saving information is so important. The purpose of the Stop the Bleed program is to make that person who might be a bystander, turn them into an immediate responder to control life-threatening bleeding until emergency response arrives. Tataka Perry Johnson is the trauma program educator at University Health. She is constantly teaching people, young and old, how to stop the bleed through classes at UH. We do teach the ABCs of bleeding control during the class, and it's the same thing. We want you to have the knowledge, have the skills and the tools, but hopefully you won't have to use it. When talking about the ABCs of bleeding, A stands for alert. Notice the bleed and call 911. Make sure that emergency responders are going to be on the scene to help you out. And then you're going to want to identify where that bleeding is coming from. B stands for bleeding. That's when you identify life-threatening bleeding to know what it looks like. You just want to see what life-threatening bleeding look like. Uh, is there a pooling of blood? Is there a squirting of blood? Are there clothes soaked? And C is compression. Through the use of direct pressure, wound packing, or a tourniquet, even with clothing. Take this gauze and we're going to pack it inside the wound, as you see. And you want to make sure and get every angle of that injury. For more on a demo of how to stop the bleed and for more information about University Health's Times of Stop the Bleed classes and how to sign up, check out this story on Kens5.com. Jeremy Baker, Kens5.